Hello everyone, welcome back to day four of building this short sword. And in the last episode we got it rough ground and got it roughly shaped to what I want and I had some decisions to make and I have barely come to a decision on what I want to do. Um, but after I got a comment from Scott Ayers saying I gotta do the swoops because they're gonna look awesome. I decided, well, Scott, I gotta do the swoops because they're gonna look awesome. So I came up with a paper template right here so I could get everything symmetrical. And I laid that on top of the sword and spray painted it. So you can just barely see some of those thick black lines on the edge. And that's where I'm gonna be grinding too. Once the black stuff is gone, then my sword should be symmetrical. So that's gonna be the first step today. Let's see how it goes. Took me another 20, 30 minutes, but I think Finally happy with where these swoopies are, so now I'm going to grind them in and there's no going back after that unless I want to make an even smaller sword. So the next step here to deal with this crack. Now I'm thinking I'm gonna grind out the crack completely till it's not there anymore and then fill it all with weld to make up the difference. Just because if it's already there then it might, when it gets hit, it might wanna spread instead of just stay where it is. Even just filling that with weld, it still might be a weak spot, I'm not exactly sure. So this is the route I'm gonna do and hopefully it works. All right, I hope that holds up. It looks a lot better, but only time and smashing it into something will tell. My next issue I have to solve here is that the sword is not completely flat right where the tang is. You can see it on this angle iron, which is relatively flat. A lot of light. So I think all the Stuff in the blade can be solved, but the tang definitely needs to be pulled down a little bit since if I flip it the other way. So I'm gonna have to flatten this whole thing the best I can, um, just so I can have good reference surfaces when I'm doing everything. And if it worst comes to worst, I'll heat up the tang with the torch a little bit and just sort of straighten it up. So that's what I'm going to do next. And I'm just going to put it in time lapse because who knows how long it'll take. Alright, it seems that that's all it took, just a little bit of straightening over on the anvil and then in the vise as well. Uh, so I'm going to take, 
you know, 10 minutes to let it cool down, let it sit there and then come back. Yeah, I think I'm gonna come back and rough grind those bevels in just so when it's after heat treat and it's hard, it doesn't take nearly as much time and belt to grind them off. And then I'm gonna do the fuller after heat treat. If I don't get the depth completely even on each side of it, which is likely, then it's gonna warp like crazy or be a lot more prone to warping. And luckily this sword is long enough or short enough, I guess, that it fits in the oven where I normally heat treat stuff. So I don't have to do it with the torch like I was planning on doing. So I can get a nice even temper on it. And then just while I'm taking a break here, I wanted to say that I noticed I noticed I hit 100 subscribers while I was making this video and I just want to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. Uh, 100 people doesn't sound like a lot in YouTube terms, but if you gathered 100 people together in real life, it's a good amount of people. So thank you to everyone who's subscribed and watches the videos, comments and everything. Uh, it's much appreciated. So when I come back, I'll be back on the grind. scariest moment in any blade's life, time to heat treat it. So what I've done is I just put a fire brick in the forge blocking the burner just so it doesn't get direct heat, hopefully making it a little more even. I'm just going to be slowly heating it up to temperature, I'll probably thermal cycle it two or three times by just taking it out and putting it down onto this, just letting it relax. Do that two or three times, then it'll be time to quench it. So, fingers crossed. cycle I noticed the tang all of a sudden had a big uh, curve to it offline off the center line of the blade down the flat edge so I just rectified that and now I'm going back into the heat cycle using two pairs of tongs to support the weight hopefully so I don't curve anything under the weight of the blade was pretty intense to do and now I'm gonna temper it at about 425 for two one-hour cycles hopefully that'll get me around a 57 58 Rockwell not as hard as you do a knife because a sword needs to be able to spring back and flex uh, if you make it too hard it'll snap so I'm gonna get the oven going and that's probably where I'll end it today and we'll come back Next time working on this sword, it'll be hardened, it'll be tempered, and it'll be time to grind once again. Don't know how many times I've said that. Thanks for watching.